Every January in Las Vegas, the Consumer Electronics Show, CES, showcases the latest electronic products. Due to COVID, the 2021 event was held exclusively online, and it became the world's largest digital tech expo, with nearly 2,000 businesses showcasing their products. The world's largest tech expo, fortunately, is back in action. Here's what you should be expecting at CES 2022. New TVs and more. TVs are typically a major deal at CES, and we don't expect that to change this year. In 2019, LG unveiled its jaw-dropping rollable TV, which led to a rollable phone in 2021, and gave Samsung the idea to create the Galaxy Fold with a flexible OLED screen. Unfortunately, LG's decision to abandon the phone business has resulted in the rollable phone's demise. Samsung Samsung is expected to show off a new line of 8K TVs as well as some unusual household products. The 2022 Samsung QLED televisions have already been revealed. To go with those sophisticated televisions, the brand has also launched a new Eco Remote that is powered by Wi-Fi radio waves. Samsung has also announced that they will showcase their displays with a heavy emphasis on concept technology that we've never seen before. Nothing has been verified though, and some reports say that the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE will finally be unveiled after months of speculation. This phone will be a less expensive variant of the feature-rich Galaxy S21. Sony. Expect to hear about Bravia TVs, sound systems, and other electronics. Any mention of PlayStation seems less likely despite the fact that we may see the recently released faceplates, Sony's 55 and 65-inch QD OLED TVs are said to be unveiled as well. However, it's unclear if we'll see them in Las Vegas or even if the reports are real. But we'd expect at least a brief appearance of even some insights on Sony's future 8K and 4K OLED televisions. Talking about an unveiling of new audio systems, we don't foresee any major releases. Sony has had a habit of revealing new audio devices closer to their release date, so we should anticipate an update on their Reality 360 audio format, which has received a lot of attention in 2021, with it featuring on all all of their major headphone and soundbar offerings. LG. LG is a CES staple. Hosting one of the show's inaugural press conferences, we've seen a concentration on OLED televisions in past years. The business loves to tease its launches around the holidays, and we've already seen a glimpse of their latest OLED EX televisions, which boast 30% greater brightness. LG had previously shown off some prototype technology and a slew of mid-range smartphones, but that won't be the case in 2022 due to the brand's pullout from the smartphone market. Panasonic Panasonic continues to produce one of the best OLEDs, albeit not as well known as some of its competitors. We're certain that a successor to the JZ2000 will be announced in 2022. Building on the current flagship model, we don't yet know what new features it will have, but we can expect some significant updates. Technix is also expected to reveal something, maybe a few new turntables, but most likely a release of the new flagship EAH A800 ANC wireless headphones they've been teasing for over a year. Silicone Wars PC gaming announcements are expected to be abundant at CES 2022. The gaming industry has picked up the slack ever since Intel returned to the game with their 12th gen chips. This, along with possible announcements regarding NVIDIA's new GPUs, could make for an exciting event for PC enthusiasts and gamers. Apple and Google are putting pressure on chip makers by packing more horsepower into their in-house processors. While the the focus in 2021 was on bringing 5G to every smartphone price point, the focus is likely to shift back to machine learning and AI in mobile CPUs. Qualcomm, they have announced some exciting new AI features as part of its next generation chipset, such as an always on camera. Expect to hear chip makers advertise a variety of machine learning and artificial intelligence features at CES this week, such as using speech recognition to try and analyze the tone of messages you receive and understand changes in tone patterns using machine learning. This functionality could potentially identify asthma, depression, and much more. NVIDIA NVIDIA has stated that their online CES event will take place on January 4th, with numerous major announcements planned. 
According to the company, it will demonstrate the most recent advances in accelerated computing, with heavy emphasis on content creators, gamers, and autonomous driving technology. Among the announcement is believed to be the debut of a new video card namely the RTX 3090 Ti. The RTX 3090 Ti might use Micron's 21 gigabits per second GDDR6X memory, which is faster than last year's RTX 3090's 19.5 gigs per second. NVIDIA may also be upgrading some of its older desktop graphics cards in order to allow customers to actually buy graphic cards, according to sources. The RTX 3070 Ti and RTX 3060 might be among them. Intel. Intel has huge plans for CES 2022. Even if it won't be there in person because it's one of several high-profile manufacturers who decided on avoiding a physical show, reports claim they'll showcase mobile variations of its Alder Lake 12th Gen chips. According to reports, two versions of these laptop processors might be released. The Alder Lake P for high-performance systems and Alder Lake M for slightly lower performance laptops laptops that favor battery life and portability over performance. This news is likely to prompt a flurry of new laptop announcements from companies including Asus, HP, Dell, and Lenovo. The Alder Lake processor will likely benefit gaming laptops the most, as raising the performance of their mobile chips will help Intel stay in the race with AMD. We're in for a treat if Intel's upcoming laptop CPUs are even close to being as powerful as their desktop counterparts. Space technology. This year's exhibition includes a number of new categories, including space technology. The ongoing space race among companies such as SpaceX and Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin has prompted the CTA to create the category. The fact that businesses like Blue Origin and SpaceX have received a lot of private funding and attention implies there are enough firms today that are interested and would come and showcase their technological advancements in space travel. Sierra Nevada will also display its space aircraft, which will carry out freight space flights to the International Space Station for NASA in 2022. Smartphones. Most major phone makers, including Samsung, have been saving their huge phone debuts for events other than CES in recent years. However, given the trend from last year, we wouldn't be shocked if additional businesses, no matter how unpopular they are, show off new folding phone designs at CES, such as the Royale Flex Pi from 2020. According to the reports, the OnePlus 10 Pro is also expected to be unveiled at CES 2020. Food Tech Impossible Foods has used the previous consumer electronics shows to debut its newest plant-based meat substitutes. It was the Impossible Foods 2.0 burger in 2019 and its Ersatz pork product in 2020. It'll be interesting to see whether that business unveils any new meta meat at CES, especially since it's recently recently introduced Impossible Chicken Nuggets. Impossible Foods will not be the only startup operating in this field because CES officials stated that food tech will be given its own category this year. Smart Home Products Hands-free equipment was one of the key trends among smart home products at CES 2021, fueled in part by the pandemic, and we should anticipate the same energy this year in 2022. We should see a lot more contactless appliances, taps, lavatories, and video video surveillance cameras to name a few. Digital health. We should anticipate to see a lot of COVID-related health gear at CES 2022, just like we expect to see a lot of smart home tech. At CES 2021, there were a few high-tech masks on display, so you should expect to see a lot more of these, as well as other sanitizing technology and purifiers. Robert Ford, the CEO and president of Abbott, will make a keynote address at CES, which will be a first for a health tech business. Business. Other related news. Quantum computers may finally become useful tools. Quantum computers have the ability to decrypt data and solve tasks that traditional computers can't. Although so far no one has succeeded in creating such a machine. We have recently witnessed a rapid acceleration of progress. Is it possible that 2022 will be the year of quantum computing? What's the current state of quantum computers? Efforts are now focused on achieving quantum supremacy, which 
which is the point at which the compute unit can execute a computation that a conventional computer cannot in an acceptable period of time. Google was the first to achieve this aim in 2019 by utilizing a system of 54 qubits. Qubits are the quantum version of ordinary computer bits that are used to do a random sampling calculation. A team from China's University of Science and Technology solved a more sophisticated sampling issue with 56 qubits in 2021 and then went much farther with 60 qubits later. Quantum error correction is also being developed by researchers to rectify errors as they arise. In 2021, Google revealed that their Sycamore processor could identify and correct faults in supercomputing qubits. Although the additional hardware required to do so caused more errors than it corrected, with their trapped ion qubits, researchers at the Joint Quantum Institute in Maryland were able to break beyond that vital break even point. Nonetheless, quantum computing, like fundamental computing is still in early stages of development. If a basic quantum computer successfully solved a noteworthy dilemma in 2022, it would be a major shock. Thanks for sticking around till the end of this video. If you liked watching our content, please leave a like, share, and subscribe to our channel.